Let's start with ER. Okay? ER is consisting of two terms. Conduction in R and somehow like convection here. This term must be kept for sure because that is obviously conduction in R direction. What about this term? If you keep both terms at the moment, replace it in shear balance here, expand it, All right, two terms from ER comes here, you get two terms. For EZ, we have four terms. One, two, three, four terms. If I want one term to be dropped, which term can be dropped for sure? If I'm going to drop one term from EZ, the term that I'm going to drop must be non-important or the term that can be negligible comparing to the others. Okay? What does this term mean physically? Conduction in Z direction. How about these three terms combined? What does it mean? Or what does it represent? It's convection. It's convection in Z direction, right? So if you compare between conduction and convection in Z direction, which term dominating? Convection. Now, let me ask you this. Is there any conduction in Z direction? Is there any? I'm not asking whether it's negligible. I'm asking whether there is any conduction in Z direction. Yes? No? If you look into the picture here, temperature, let's say you fix the temperature, if you look into temperature right in the center, the temperature in the center at this level and temperature in the center at that level, are they equal? No. Which one is higher? Up here is higher. So there is some convection, um, there is conduction, right? Because conduction takes place whenever you have temperature difference. It doesn't matter whether you have fluid flow or not. Here is higher, here is lower. So conduction in Z direction is supposed to go along the Z direction, okay? What about convection? Is there any convection in Z direction? Yes, for sure there is because there is fluid flow and temperature of water up here and temperature of the wall are not equal. If there is no equal, then there will be convection for sure. If you compare between convection and conduction, which one is more important? In C direction. Convection is more important. All right? So we are going to drop this term because in C direction, conduction is not as important. Okay? So plug everything else back in here.
OK. Now we have how many terms? One, two, three, four, five, six terms. In these six terms, which term can be dropped? Can we drop any other term here? By the meaning, this is conduction in R. This is somewhat like convection. That depends in R direction. The change in convection in respect to R. These three terms in convection in Z direction. Okay? If you look carefully, this term is zero. You know why? Yes, because rho is constant. Vz is not function of z. So that means Vz squared is not function of z as well. You differentiate it with respect to z, you get zero. All right? So this term can be dropped. Now, the equation is a little bit long. So I'm going to manipulate them, try to reduce into shorter version. Okay? Let's start one by one. The first one, this is minus, this is minus. K is constant, I take K out. This is the first term. Second term here, this is minus, minus, you get plus. OK? Mu is constant, I take it out. So mu here can be taken out, you get mu over r. Can I take vz out? No, you cannot. Velocity chain with respect to r. OK? So here, you have three terms, R, V, Z, and differentiation here. I'm going to keep R and V, Z by dr to be one term. This one will be another. So you have differentiation of a product. So D of the U, V equal to U, D, V plus V, D, U. All right? So start with u dv. This is u times dvz by dr plus v du. This will be a second term. All right? This term is dropped. Then we have this term. Rho CP is constant. You can take it out from differentiation. Can we take VC out as well? VC here. Can we take it out? Yes, you can. Because right now, VC is not function of Z. VC here. It's function of R. It's function of R only. But you differentiate it with respect to Z. So that means you can take rho CP VZ out. The rest, you have differentiation of temperature with respect to Z. This one, after differentiation, it becomes zero. Because temperature at reference state is constant. Right? Same here. Vc is not function of z. Take it out. Then you differentiate it pressure with respect to z. Pressure at reference is constant. After differentiation, it becomes zero. Last term is same here. Rho g v z equal to zero.
All right. Now, I'm going to take this equation, I mean this term first. This term is not changed. Uh, let me write down over there. 